Hi everybody, my name is Krupa, and in this short video, you're going to learn all about how to use Visual Studio to build Apache Cordova apps. And we're going to build a simple one, a Hello World app. So let's get started. So before you can start building your application, you need to make sure you have Visual Studio configured and ready for building your Apache Cordova apps. So there are two ways you can do it. If you're into Visual Studio 2013, make sure you have Update 4 installed before installing the Visual Studio tools for Apache Cordova extension. That will get you everything you need to start building your application. The other approach is if you're using the Visual Studio 2015 preview, you have a much more simpler process. As part of installation, make sure to check the tools for Apache Cordova checkbox. And once you check that box and click on the install link, it'll take care of both configuring your machine to create Apache Cordova projects but it'll also take care of downloading all the third-party dependencies you'll need to build all the various kinds of projects for iOS, Android, and Windows. Cool. So with that, you know, let's go ahead and just dive into Visual Studio and take a quick look at the common UI and what are the steps it'll take to build a simple Hello World app. Let's get started. All right, so I'm actually going to be demoing everything in Visual Studio 2015. So let me go ahead and bring it up type in Visual Studio 2015 preview. All right, so right now Visual Studio 2015 has launched and the start page comes up. If you've used Visual Studio before, all of this should be pretty familiar to you. You get an overview of some of the cool news and announcements that we have today. And you can also see on the left hand side projects you've created recently along with the ability to create or open new projects. So what we're going to do is create a new project. I'm just going to click on the new project link. And once you click on the new project link, the new project dialog will appear. This dialog gives you an overview of all the various projects and platforms that your current installation of Visual Studio allows you to create. So because Apache Cordova projects are JavaScript projects, make sure you have the JavaScript node selected and find the Apache Cordova apps link. I've already had it pre-selected from when I ran through this earlier. And select the blank app template, which gives you the bare minimum stuff needed to get up and running with an Apache Cordova project. And let me just give it a different name. I'm call this one just Hello World. All right, so I've selected a blank app. I'm giving it a name Hello World. And let's go ahead and hit OK and see what happens. So at this point, your project is getting created. And the first thing you'll see when your project is created is a getting started page. And this page contains some helpful information to get you up and running, along with some resources that you can use to learn more about what's going on as you're building your Apache Cordova apps. I'm going to go ahead and close that for now. The first area we're going to focus on is the Solution Explorer. The Solution Explorer gives you an overview of the files and folders that currently make up your project. Some of the folders like your CSS, images, and scripts folder are pretty straightforward. That's where your style sheets, your image files, and any JavaScript you write will live. Pretty standard. And some of the folders like merges and res are very Apache Cordova specific. The merges directory is where you specify your files that you want to be very platform specific, that you want to override the default behavior with. And the res folder is where you contain your splash screens, your app icons, and other resources that help your app become more of a packaged app to be shown on any of the various platforms' app stores. All right, so the interesting stuff from this though, I'm just going to open up index.html. And as you know, Apache Cordova apps are nothing more than HTML, CSS, and JavaScript-based files packaged to run natively on the iOS, Android, and Windows platforms. And the index.html file is really nothing more than a standard HTML document, similar to what you may have been writing for many years as part of targeting the web itself. You can see an HTML tag, you see some elements, you see the body element, nothing, nothing crazy going on here. So creating your content, making HTML and JavaScript changes will make up a good chunk of what you spend your time on. The other part is making sure your application actually works. And to help with that, you have the debug toolbar. This toolbar at the very top gives you the ability to choose which platform you're going to test your application against. For example, we can we, right now we support Android, iOS, and multiple flavors of Windows configurations. And depending on which configuration you selected, in this case Android, the targets you can use to actually preview will vary. For Android, you can test on Ripple, you can test on a device, an Android emulator. And for what we're going to do right now, I'm just going to stick with Ripple. And Ripple, as you'll see shortly, is an in-browser simulator. And I've gone and hit play to get the application running on Ripple. So your project's being built, and it's being deployed right now to run in the Ripple simulator. So what Ripple does is pretty cool. 
it uses the Chrome rendering engine to render what your page currently looks like, but it does so while giving you a lot of functionality to kind of mimic device capabilities. So let me go back into Ripple as it's getting loaded. And notice that you, you see your application right now. It says, hello, your application's ready, which matches the text that we had in our index.html file. And in addition to that, you can actually toggle some device-specific settings like portrait orientation mode or landscape mode, in which case if you had any media queries or code that reacted to a situation where your application is currently wider than this taller, the appropriate code will run. And you can also mimic some other device capabilities like the accelerometer, the battery, and so on. It's a very lightweight way of being able to make sure your application works fine just by using the in-browser simulator. But what we're here to do though is a hello world demo. Right now it's a hello your application is ready demo. So let's go ahead and fix that. I'm gonna go back to index.html and let me just go ahead and just type in hello world. Hello is already there, the comma is already there. I'm just going to add the word world and hit save. And once I hit save, I'm just going to go back into Ripple. And notice that because Ripple detected that one of our project paths has changed, it's refreshing to show us the new content. And right now you have hello world displayed. So there you have it, a very, very quick overview of how to use our Apache Cordova tools to create a new project and build a simple page that contains the words hello world. And of course, from here on out, if you have any questions, do post them on Stack Overflow. Use the hashtag Visual Studio Cordova. Find us on Twitter at Visual Studio Cordova Tools, or you can email the product team as well. We'll be happy to read your questions and reply back. And of course, if you need to contact me directly, here's my email address. And also, I'm always looking for people to help with their future planning. So if you happen to build a lot of Cordova projects or have some interest in testing out some upcoming releases or making sure we are on the right track with some ideas we have about the next release, do ping me. I'd love to hear from you and hopefully even get you more involved in how we build these various projects. And with that, I will see you guys later.